And so with the need to know Schlegel notes number one, uh, the question that is uh, an important one is why do we care about engineering notation? And so let's say that we were trying to talk about 32,500,000 bytes of data. Um, that's a little bit clunky coming off my tongue. It feels like a strange way to speak. What feels even more strange to say is when I use scientific notation, it's great, but it doesn't feel natural to say 3.25 times 10 to the seventh bytes, which is the same as 32,500,000 bytes. And so, so both scientific notation and regular, I call it an informal, just regular language sound a bit funny uh, when I'm trying to represent these giant numbers, it's a bit clunky. Uh, it does, however, feel very natural to say 32.5 megabytes. It's very common to hear someone say, I've got a 10 megabyte hard drive, or this file is 18 gigabytes big, or whatever it happens to be. And that's an example of engineering notation. Engineering notation provides a comfortable way to name very large or very small numbers. Uh, much more comfortable than our thousands, millions, billions thing that we do, uh, and much more comfortable than scientific notation. So to accomplish this, engineering notation uses what we call SI prefixes and a different method for placing the decimal than scientific notation does. So with that, we are onward to our first example.